What's up, guys? It's me, your badass here, Stravity. Welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so it was a very good uh, birthday marathon, and I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching my episodes and all that stuff. And well, now it is finally time to continue right here in the main game, which is Pokemon White 2. And well, we're going to be doing a little bit of exploration right here into what was it called again? The Relic Castle. Yes, sir. And well, if you guys don't remember, the Relic Castle is a little bit famous for, you know, being all relic-y and all that stuff, the quicksand, and, uh, yeah, the Pokemon that you can actually find here, uh, one being Volcarona, and I believe you can actually find Volcarona right here, you just have to pass everybody. Now, if you guys remember, in Pokemon Black and White, you are not, you won't be able to go through this whole area until you actually defeat the whole, uh, the whole game. Well, yeah, actually defeat the Elite Four first and then you know, go into the side quest and all that stuff. And, well, look at that. Murica's back. And, well, Murica is going to go with a wing attack right here. And, well, yeah, we're going to get side beam. Holy crud. Okay, so maybe maybe it's a pro maybe it's probably a good idea to get yeah, Giga Lift out as soon as possible. I'm just saying. Anywho, um, so, yeah, you can actually get through this whole area, uh, when you actually defeat the Pokemon League for the first time, and then after that, you know, you go through a strange, uh, amount of events going into it, like, you know, trying to find the Sages, the Seven Sages, and all that stuff. Obviously, you're gonna be battling a lot of trainers right here, but I hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we'll be able to get through this whole area as safe and sound and all that stuff, and, well... What we're gonna do is we're gonna speed button this whole thing right here because, well, you know, we can. And, well, here we go with the aerial ace. Murica gets a bug, getting kicked by, uh, you know, some uh, second type Pokemon. And Murica grows to level 26. Dua has been defeated. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here, okay? So Murica thinks he can hog, uh, hog all the experience points. But, yeah, we gotta go straight to Magneto right here because we have, we're gonna be taking on some pretty good Pokemon. And, well, look at this. We got ourselves the TM39 Rock Tomb, which could be, uh, could be useful. And, yes, we're gonna be using a lot of repels right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run into this uh, the sand pit right here. Now remember, if you go into the middle of the sand pit, you will actually be sunk in. If you run around it or anything like that, yes, you will be get you'll be sunk as well. And well, this person recognizes us. They're gonna be like, "What I am here, I feel like I might be crushed by sorrow." You there? Let us have a bout. Okay, speed button. And you gotta love the speed button right here, guys, because, well, it progresses our, our adventure just a little bit quicker right here. And look at that. Okay, so Sonic Boom takes automatic 20 points. Let's go further the Sonic Boom, and yeah, there we go. Magneto grows to level 20, and yes, we have won another match. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think if we go up here, we will be able to come right back over here. Okay, so let's see. Maybe if we just, like we said, we run over here. And this one will actually take us down the middle right here. So what am I missing? I'm missing something right here, guys. Here, that, or I'm just like going nuts right here. Yes, and let's see. There's another place right here that you can actually go to. And uh, let's see, that's the entrance. Stay away from that. We're actually gonna go downstairs right here to see what we could actually find. And it looks like you can't find anything, huh? That is odd. Okay, hold on just a sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna read up I'm gonna do a little required reading. Okay, so we're back and I think uh, we've just discovered a little something right here, and that is that if you defeat everybody right here, uh, something else happens and well look at that, I'm just walking through. Uh, something else opens around this whole area right here. It's just not located in this vicinity. So let's see. Let's go right ahead, and it is autumn already. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. So if you go a little further east, you'll be able to find a little something right here. And still wondering what that is all about. Hmm. Okay. So that is a ruins, and I I think. Huh. So, it looks like to me we're going to have to wait on that. Either that or I'm, I'm missing something. I don't know. Huh. Okay, well, uh, we're going to have to wait on that. Or, wait, 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 hold on. 
Yeah, we, we looked at everything. Okay, never mind. Let us move on right here, guys. So that was uh, the Relic Castle for just a little bit. Well, Corona will be captured a little bit later on once I figure it all out. Might have something to do with, like, Autumn or something like that. I don't know, but let's go right ahead and figure some stuff out. So here we are back in the Desert Resort, yes, and we used up all our repels right here. And just like that, we're going to be getting attacked by some Pokemon. We got the Weeble or Dwebble wanting to attack us and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and not battle this Pokemon because, well, oh wow. <laughs> all right, we're going to fast forward this because we, we do not need to battle this Pokemon at all. Okay, so stay away from the dark spots right there because there will be some uh, Pokemon. And, well, here we are back in round four. And as many of you guys may have remembered, we have defeated everybody right here. And now it is time for us to go straight into the next city. And, well, look at that. The development is going well right here. And this is actually brand new. If you go in here, you are now in Join Avenue. And, well, if you come straight through this right here, you're going to see this individual. is like, hmm, what should I, uh, what should I do? I can't possibly manage everything. They look at me, and he's like, hello there. Okay, all right, what's up? Welcome to Join Avenue. We don't have anything yet, as you see, so it's just a, an avenue for at this point. Oh, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the owner of Join Avenue. My dream is to go around the world and build a building avenues to bustle with lots of people. There, the problem is I have no one that I can trust to manage the avenue. Da -da 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 -da. Something just struck me. You seem to be the tra uh, trainer traveling around, aren't you? You naturally meet people from all over the region, don't you? I know, it seems sudden, but will you manage the avenue for me? Sure, why not? Thank you so much. Okay, tell me what you, what kind of person are you? What was your favorite phrase, uh, or what was your favorite, favorite phase uh, that you'd say or you use to greet everyone? Warning! The words you use are about to enter me, and uh, yeah, 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 okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to enter a, uh, a nice phrase. Now, how do I, what, what is my favorite phase? Everyone in the world can hear this. Lexi, I could put, I own y'all, but that, that, that would be mean. That would be mean. Uh, hmm. No, I was watching The Simpsons, uh... I was watching The Simpsons uh, earlier on, right here, and this kind of struck me. Let's see, smell. Actually, let's see. Yeah, they say it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be that long. Okay, so what would a favorite phase be? Hmm. Let's see. I don't even know. I, I I have no idea what kind of phrase I would give. You know what? Give me a second, guys. I will figure out a good phrase. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So it was right there, right in front of me, guys. I think I know what I want to put on there. I don't know, just trying to be goofy or something like that. But I think the good name will be Murica. After, you know, my, my bravery. So there we go. Murica. Right here. There we go. And you know what? Let's go ahead and throw in an exclamation point right here. And others. And there you go. Exclamation point. So he's going to be like, Murica. That's a great line. Then what would you say when someone truly moves your heart? You want to choose something universal, a phrase that anyone will understand, you know? Okay, so I think I already know what is universal. I understand, okay? I, I, I have a good I have a good word, it just came up to me. So let's go right ahead and put the word right now. It's after my favorite food in the whole wide world, including everybody else's. If you don't like it, then uh, <laughs> uh, why are you watching my videos? I don't even know. Okay, so the name of this uh, phrase after I'm impressed is pizza because, well, pizza is universal. It's delicious and it's great. Who else would be well suited to managing uh, the avenue? And the girls are like, are you serious? Sir, it's almost time for your next appointment. Oh, I almost forgot. My assistants, you heard me. I must leave now, so please support our newest manager. Yes, sir, please take care of yourself. So just like that, I I guess I'm managing an avenue. Don't, he probably made a big mistake, but I don't even know. And uh, pleased to meet you, how should we address you? Oh, how should you address me? Very simple, guys. Very, very simple. If you guys remember Pokemon X, I kind of nicknamed myself this. After not little D, not big D, or anything like that, because that was kind of like, uh, that was not going to go well right here. But you may, you may call me Sensei. 
That's right. Sensei. Now, or now that you uh, are the one to manage the development of the avenue, please turn into a, into a wonderful attraction uh, where many people visit. I'll explain how to develop the avenue, so please talk to me when you're ready. Uh, I think I already know, but I'm just going to go forward and yes, I'm going to just make it make it attractive and all that stuff. And obviously, the first person that walks by, you just talk to him and his name is Janus. Amazing! Is this a new avenue? It doesn't look like anyone has built a shop here yet. Maybe I can uh, make my dream come true. Invite. If I were uh, if I were make uh, my dream come true on this avenue, I would want to help everyone relax and beautiful, with beautiful flowers. So we're going to make him a resident and then BAM! This individual is a... Well, now, now he has a flower shop. So this... I guess it's already pre-planned or anything like that right there. So I think that's pretty much it right there. Congratulations, you made your first shop. But having a shop means nothing if you don't have customers. You'll need to talk to a customer and recommend a shop. Speaking of recommendations, someone is coming this way. Why don't you recommend our shop? Uh, okay. How you doing? Please go to the flower shop. Uh, recommend. Yes, okay. So let's go with the florist Janus. And after that, yes, she is off and amazing, fun. Flourish Janus, it's a wonderful place. Eh, really happy now. Okay, popularity went up by 40 points. Okay, don't know why that is. And look at that. Oh wow, it's uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty good, pretty nifty. Congratulations, you've recommended the shop and made the popularity of the avenue go up. Raise the popularity of the shop and the avenue and make it famous. A good tip for bringing more customers is use your communication features. You should turn on the sea gear to attract lots of passerbys. You should also try the communication facilities such as a union room and a global terminal. Sensei will be serving you as assistants in the room over there. Please come and visit us if, you, if you'll excuse us now. Okay. All right, so that right there was uh, that was that right there was it. So don't really have a lot to do right here. Holy crud! This is long. That's what she said. And well, we're gonna go into the next uh, the next town or the next city right here. And well, would you look at that? We are in Nimbasa, Nimbasa City, guys. And would you look at this? Hello there. Let's go ahead and talk. I heard you. I heard the gear station. You uh, can uh, you can have Pokemon battles in the subway. So I came here to test my skills, and well, what, you, what do you know? The subway robot bosses were here. Isn't that amazing? I mean, they're the strongest trainers in the Gear Station, and they said they'd battle if uh, if it's two on two. This is amazing, op or this is an amazing opportunity. Would you please battle with me? Sure. All right. The name is Rosa. Let's become the best partners ever and surpass the subway bosses. So, I'll give you a challenge to send the subway bosses with me then. Okay, so we're going to be battling the subway bosses. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be battling, uh, I guess, the subway bosses. And, well, and, and I don't even know the other person's name. So, here it is, guys. A double battle. And it's against the subway bosses, Inigo and Emet. And look at that. They are themed after the... Huh. They are actually themed after the name right there. So there we go, Bulldor and, Gul and Gurger. And I am at a huge disadvantage because, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, Magneto can't do anything right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Sigh of the Torrent. And see if we can actually destroy everything right here. So here we go, Psy and Pig Knight reunited all over again. Here comes an arm thrust. And, well, there's another arm thrust. Boulder is surviving right here. Oh, that's a lot of uh, arm thrust right there. So there's four. Wake up slap. And well, look at that. A mud slap right here. Yeah, we're getting we're getting our butts kicked because we wasted a turn right here. And now our accuracy has gone down. So oh god, what, what did I do? What was that? What was that? Something healed it. Oh yeah, the the, the leftovers. See, I kind of don't play the games a lot. Or it takes me a while, you know. It's a while before I record any episode right there. I kind of forget what I what I add. And, well, these Pokemon are a little strong. And, well, wow. Big Knight is literally spanking Bulldore. So that's one down. And, well, Desert Storm grows to level 23. Here comes a wake-up slap from uh, Gurner. Looking all steroid out and everything. And, yes, we are going to get healed by the leftovers. So this is fantastic. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh, let's go with a razor shell. See how that one works. And well, obviously we miss and crap baskets. This is getting annoying. Yeah. 
This is definitely getting annoying just by losing a, a little bit of accuracy. Gerger, you are coming in a nuisance right here. So, oh my god. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed this button up. My god, okay. Okay, come on. Heal up my Pokemon. Let's go with the Razor Shell, and we're missing, obviously. So, yeah, we are the... <laughs> we are the weaker of the three other trainers right here. Gotta feel bad for myself. This is like a first. Well, thanks, Rose, I think. I don't know. Okay, so we we have defeated him at in, uh, in, in what's his face and uh, Inigo and bravo the combination of you and your Pokemon are truly fantastic I'm in that well I have to have lost to you I had a good time let's play again sometime yes definitely next time please ride the subway and battle with us there well then we're off all aboard alrighty well my partner right here is like uh, they were so tough even when they were uh, holding uh, back for us that's the subway bosses for you I want to get even stronger in battle the subway bosses when they are giving it their all. Thanks, Draven. This is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. And just like that, we grab ourselves the VS Recorder. And when you have a VS Recorder, you can record your battles with your friends or battles on the uh, battle subway. Draven, or Draven, I had a really great time battling with you. I hope you can battle together again sometime. See ya. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be taking a tour of uh, Nimbasa City, and we're going to find, figure out some stuff right here, because uh, there's some stuff that we need to figure out. You guys already know that. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.